start off by doing first good morning good morning all right so what i want y'all to start off by doing is answer question number one in your own words define what self-control means to you all right i'm gonna give y'all 30 seconds to do that it's real quick don't think too hard about it define what self-control means to you all right then we're gonna call call on some people to share out what self-control means to them that's what just said read this check this About 20 more seconds. And also, I want you guys to pay attention to that second question. Who has control over you and your actions? Who has control over you and your actions? I want to hear some of those responses too. All right, uh, let's get some people to share out. What's your definition of self-control? Let's go, Eric. I said self-control is basically when you can control yourself when negative actions are happening. All right, so being able to control yourself when negative actions are happening. Cam, what you think? I see a simple choice when you're able to control yourself in different situations. All right. Jamari, last word. Uh, I said self-control is when you're able to calm yourself down in certain situations. All right. Being able to calm yourself down in certain situations. All right. Um, Kwesi, who, um, who has control over you and your actions? Other people can influence you, but it's really up to you to control what you do in your life. And then you can take inspiration from other people. They can inspire you to tell you what to do, but it's really up to you to know what to do in a particular situation. And that's key. Kwesi just said something real key, right? A lot of people can influence our actions, but ultimately we're the people that carry out those actions, right? We have control over um, the actions that we put out into society, all right? Can I get somebody to read our objective for the day? Uh, go ahead, Makai. Young boss soldiers will be able to improve their academic and interpersonal self control by evalu evaluating their academic and behavioral habits and composing a letter giving themselves personal self control advice. All right. So, a definition that I want us to look at when we talk about self control, all right, is being able to maintain focus academically and behaviorally, and always being able to do what's right. All right, so self-control doesn't just mean, oh, I need to be able to control my temper. Oh, I need to be able to control um, like how I talk to people or my disrespect. It's also academic, like holding yourself accountable, saying, okay, I, I got self-control to know I shouldn't play the video game right now when I should be doing my homework, right? Being able to make those decisions. Um, and there's a lot of ways that we could try to improve um, our self-control academically and um, behaviorally. One of those things is overcoming bad habits that we have, right? So like some of those bad habits could be losing your temper or losing focus when we think about distractions or displaying disrespect uh, towards others, uh, procrastinating, uh, wait, till the, yeah, wait till the last minute to do stuff, not being organized. All of these things are things that are bad habits that like lead to bad results and bad actions. Self-control is being able to identify, okay, these are the things that I'm not good at. These are the things that I need to work on and creating a plan of, of how you can like self-check yourself, all right, and hold yourself accountable. That's the first part of self-control, being able to hold yourself accountable, all right? So uh, what, we, what we are gonna do today is, um, First, I want to ask the question, why is it important to possess this character of self-control? Why is it important? Based on what we what, I, what we just talked about, why is it important to have this trait of self-control? Why is it count? Because like, when you go out in the real world, and if you don't have self-control, you're putting like a bad example on yourself. So it's best if you have a self, like if you control yourself, then people could think different, different about you. And you could be like, 
oh, this person act like a fool, even though I know self control. But if you show a good example of yourself out in public, then people be like, oh, he got good manners, he got rave, like that stuff like that. Cool. So, what we're about to do now is um, we're about to like write letters to ourselves, all right? Identify some bad habits we have, both academically and behaviorally, all right? So, what I want you to do is, um, I'm a, well, first, I'm about to model my process, all right? So, the first thing I would do when I'm writing this letter to myself, trying to figure out what are some things I need to work on as far as my self-control, I want to identify some academic bad habits. And I also want to identify some behavioral bad habits that I have. And these are bad habits that I'm reflecting back to that I had in high school, all right? Behavioral bad habit. I had a bad temper, all right? I would always like, my, my fuse would be real short. It, would, it wouldn't take a lot to like make me mad and make me wanna like go and be somebody else that I'm really not, all right? Um, other behavioral bad habits. Um, I was easily distracted. I let my peers influence my uh, influence me and distract me. Academic bad habit, procrastination. Always waiting to the last minute to do stuff. As well as, um, as well as, uh, what was my, what was my second one? Um, organization. There it is. Organization. All right, I would just throw stuff in boxes, not know. Like not pay not write not write, not write down my homework and not be knowing what's going on. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I, I'm uh, I'm gonna take these these habits like and I'm gonna be self reflective. So I'll I'll, I'll start off my letter, dear Mr. Alexander. All right. I know that you're struggling with procrastination and organization. I know this because and then I'm gonna provide evidence of how I know that I'm bad at these things. These are bad habits for me. You also have, and I will also go on to say, um, I have various bad habits, like my temper and being distracted by others. I know this because, all right? So the first step is self-identifying. These are the, these are the things that I have problems with in terms of self-control. The next step is, what can I do to help this, right? So I'm gonna do an example of two of these. So maybe something I could do to help control my temper, maybe I can start counting 10 when I get real mad, which is something I actually did. Like it's kind of cliche, but that's something that helped me. Like if I felt like I was about to get mad, I count to 10 slowly, and it just kind of helped me reset. That might not work for everybody, but that was just for me. All right? Tackling procrastination. Like one way that I tried to tackle procrastination was if I knew an assignment was due, um, on a on a certain day, I gave myself a three day deadline before that to have it done, right? So what I want you to do in your letter is I want you to identify um, what are some things that what are some academic and behavioral bad habits you have? What's what's some evidence that you know that that's something you you're not good at? And then give yourself advice on how you can be better. All right, everybody understand what I want you guys to do? All right, so I'm gonna give y'all about five minutes to write that many letters to yourself. Identify a bad habit you have, right? Identify a bad habit you have both academically and behaviorally, at least one. Bad habits you have <coughs> academically and behaviorally. And then give yourself advice on how you can help that. Yes. Can I like make it like a chart? Why don't you write a letter? Practice not literacy skills. <laughs> 